Campaigners gathered in Nottingham today as part of a nationwide protest demanding a ban on fracking. They were calling on banks and businesses not to invest pension funds in companies that are involved in fossil fuel extraction. Phil Brewster reports. Around 15 anti-fracking campaigners gathered in Nottingham's Old Market Square today. As well as handing out leaflets to people, they were blowing bubbles drawing attention to what they claim is the dire financial state of the fracking industry and the economic and carbon bubble surrounding it. The extraction costs of getting oil and gas out of the ground for fracking is a lot higher than conventional oil and gas. And um, so uh, if the price of oil and gas isn't high enough, they, they simply can't make enough money. Fracking involves drilling down into the earth before directing a high-pressure mix of water, sand and chemicals into the rock to release shale gas. In recent years, some companies have applied for permission to conduct seismic surveys in parts of Nottinghamshire to see if shale gas is present. Supporters argue it could contribute to the UK's energy needs and potentially create thousands of jobs. But others argue the environmental cost is too high. We do not need it. It's another fossil fuel which contributes to global climate destabilisation. As well as Nottingham, there were other anti-fracking protests across the East Midlands. They say they won't rest until fracking is banned in the UK. Phil Brewster, ITV News, Nottingham.